Are you ready for some excitement? My name is Michael Watson, and I'll be your instructor for this HPTI NLP 101 course. HPTI NLP 101, that's a lot of letters and numbers strung together in a row. And when I hear that many letters and numbers strung together in a row, it usually sounds to me like a model number for something pretty fancy. So you know that you can expect to have quite an adventure uh, as you take this NLP journey with me over the course of the next four weeks. So in order to get the ball rolling and kick things off here, I'd like to begin by giving you just a little bit of an overview of what it is that you can expect as this course develops. We're going to begin with the basic presuppositions of neurolinguistic programming or something that I like to call the essential attitudes of NLP. This is the philosophy, the spirit, the understandings behind NLP that make all the patterns and techniques work. And in fact, these attitudes are so powerful that I really believe if you simply took them alone and integrated them into your life and into your behavior, that the work that you do with clients would be enhanced and enriched immeasurably, that your personal relationships would be changed dramatically in positive ways, and that you'd even be able to experience yourself differently and to get greater change out of yourself anytime that you wanted to as a result of applying these essential attitudes. And that's just the first lesson of this curriculum. After we've studied the essential attitudes, we're gonna teach you a number of techniques or uh, methodologies that you can use to effortlessly and easily establish rapport with anyone on the planet. To easily and effortlessly establish rapport which is a crucial thing if you're teaching, if you're negotiating, if you're coaching, if you're doing therapy. There's nothing as important as rapport. And if you're doing hypnosis, my, in my experience, the need for rapport is doubly important. And so we'll cover that right at the beginning of the course and you'll have that to contribute to your work in hypnosis immediately. The next thing we're going to do is give you some exercises that you can actually, enjoyable exercises that you can take on to yourself and practice with from time to time that will assist you in turning up your own sensory acuity so that you can become more and more sensitive to the subtle clues that people give off in communication and interaction with you. The clues that they give in terms of their language, the clues that they give in terms of their gestures, their eye movements, their body movements, etc. Uh, can actually give you a wealth of information about how it is that they're thinking, how it is that they're processing information, and just what you can do with them that will enable you to help them um, make the changes that they've come to you for. Um, after we've uh, done that, we're going to turn to the middle name of neurolinguistic programming, which is linguistics, of course, and we're going to study the language of NLP. We'll study the precision language of the meta model which is really essential in gathering useful information and clear and clean and precise communication, making sure that people understand one another. And we'll also study the Milton model, which was modeled from Milton Erickson and deals specifically with how to use language in subtle and meaningful ways in hypnotic communication in order to facilitate change in the people that you work with. This is going to be especially useful for the, those of you who are in the H, uh, HPTI hypnosis curriculum. Um, after we've done the language models, we're going to begin to talk about states, which is an important thing in neurolinguistic programming. And we'll learn how to assist clients in accessing powerful, resourceful states and being able to use anchors to recall those states and to reuse those states whenever they want them to resolve problems or challenges or difficulties in their life. And we're even going to teach you a technique that you can use to instantly access your own personal best anytime that you want to. And once we've really developed some familiarity with resource states and how to access them, we're going to be able to discuss how to use them and we'll give you numerous demonstrations and exercises of this, how to use them to overcome problems of personal history or difficulties from the past that you just don't seem to quite be able to get over. Then we're going to cover habits and unwanted behaviors. Uh, we really have a belief in neurolinguistic programming that there is a positive intention behind all behavior. And so we want you to be able to help your clients find that positive intention and find ways to get it satisfied so that the unwanted behavior can be eliminated more easily than you might have imagined possible. 
we'll, we'll do some work with symptoms and, uh, and how NLP relates to working with symptoms similarly to unwanted habits and behaviors. And then we're going to cover the area of phobias. And one of my favorite processes is a technique that was developed in the earliest days of NLP, the 10-minute phobia cure, which will be demonstrated in the class and that you'll have an opportunity to learn and to use on your own uh, with your own clients um, and perhaps in a practice session. Then the area of beliefs will be especially important in our developing curriculum when we talk about how beliefs can limit us or how beliefs can empower us, how beliefs are formed, how they can be changed and modified, how to take limiting beliefs away and how to make beliefs that are empowering or how to take empowering beliefs and enhance them and embellish them and make them even more useful than they are already. And in the area of especially uh, significant beliefs that have been with us all of our life, we'll cover an area called re-imprinting. Re-imprinting, in this case, on a timeline, which is essentially an NLP variant of the hypnotic process of regression to cause, something that you'll be using with clients quite regularly, I'm sure. This is a technique that you'll find especially powerful, really accessible and helpful with a variety of difficult situations. Then we're going to look at what are called meta programs that can help you to profile a client to understand better how you might be able to predict their behavior and how you might be able to modify their behavior once you've made that prediction. Or that will help you use that profile in order to be able to predict what it is that enables someone to perform successfully in a given context so that you can learn more about how to acquire that skill or to make it available. We're going to talk about internal strategies, as a matter of fact, right along those lines. And we'll talk about how people run their brain, how they think, how they process information to produce some of the problems that they have in their life, like anxiety, for example, or how it is they think and use their brain and process information in order to manifest a, a magnificently perfect golf swing. And while we're on the area of understanding people's internal strategies, we're going to talk about modeling and teach you how to engage in modeling processes that you can use to model high achievers, people who accomplish things that you'd like to be able to accomplish or that your clients would like to be able to accomplish. You can study those behaviors using NLP techniques and you can actually encode that information and to create a model that you can use to transfer those behaviors to other people, to yourself or to your clients. And that pretty much rounds out the curriculum of the HPTI NLP 101 course. Now, there may be a few things that I forgot to mention uh, off of the top of my head, but I think that's a pretty good overview of what we have in mind. The required text for the course will be the HPTI NLP 101 course manual. Um, and uh, this manual, in fact, having that long fancy name, HPTI NLP 101, you know, has got to be a pretty fancy manual. And as a matter of fact, it is because it was designed specifically for this curriculum. Everything that you need in order to be successful in this program will be included in your manual. It will include instructional material. It will include all the techniques that we engage in. It will include all the exercises that you can use in order to hone and develop your own skills. They're all right there in that manual. Um, and you'll have information on the website included in the syllabus, as so many things are in this course, um, a link that you can follow in order to be able to access and to download that manual. Um, there will also be a link there, by the way, that will, that will list additional reading material that you might be uh, interested in looking at, which is entirely optional and no additional reading material will be required for this course. We will have eight hours of video for you to watch every week of the four weeks that the course goes on. So you want to allow plenty of time to do that and, uh, and that should pretty much cover everything that you need to know. Um, there will be demonstrations of all of the techniques covered in the course um, and opportunities for you to practice many of them. We'll also spend uh, two hours, there will be two hours scheduled rather uh, live online each week during the four weeks of this curriculum. Two hours at different times so that everybody can get access wherever they are in the world. 
And in those two-hour online conferences, you'll have an opportunity to ask me any questions that you might have so you can get those answered. Uh, I'll also be able to embellish some of the material that were, was covered in the video for that week and uh, may even be able to offer you some additional material that hasn't been included in the videos that you've been watching. And again, the information about that and the times for that will be found on the HPTI website. Now, I know that you're the kind of people who want to do something right, and that's why you're in, involved with a great school like HPTI in the first place. So in order to make sure that you can do something right, we are going to give you a couple assignments so that you can really put into practice what it is that you're actually learning in this course. So you'll be asked over the course of this curriculum to do two pieces of work and to write us a brief description, just giving us the basic details of what it is that, uh, that the client wanted, what technique that you chose to use, and why you chose that technique, and, um, and, and how it went. Uh, so we'll be looking for those from you, and there will be information about that and how to submit that also on the HPTI website as per usual. Um, and of course, your NLP journey would not be complete if we didn't cap it off with an opportunity for you to really demonstrate just what it is that you have learned. And so in order for you to do that, there will be two tests. There will be a test uh, at the end of the second week, and there will be a test at the end of the program in order, uh, there'll be uh, uh, question and answer tests um, for you to, to demonstrate what it is that you've learned uh, by studying the course with us. So we're really glad that you've decided to join us here. And if you're ready for this adventure, then let's just go ahead and buckle your seatbelt, pull down your lap bar, and let's begin.